welcome to the Aviation Conversation, featuring me, Paris Robertson, and Tilo. Right, everyone, welcome to episode two of the Aviation Conversation podcast um, with Harris and myself, Tilo. We've got a special guest today in the studio, Darius. Yo, yo, yo. There he is. And uh, we have also a new segment that we'll be um, doing now every week, which is called um, Plane of the Week. So, Harris, what's our Plane of the Week? Panavia Tornado IDS. Excellent. What can you tell us about that? It was used in Afghanistan by the RAF, and it came out of service in... I know that it was introduced in 1979, but I don't know when it came out of service. So I think, I was think it 79. Nin- was it 1999 yeah. that it came out of service? It was introduced into service in 79, and... Mm-hmm. And I don't, know, I don't know when it came out, but it's like a, it's like a, basically made by three countries at once, isn't it? So it was made by Italy, uh, UK, and Germany. And I think they were produced massively by the UK, and then Germany and Italy bought them. Okay. But it could it could be what you said when all three of them created them, but the Tornado IDSs are still in service in the Luftwaffe Force, which oh, is okay. pretty cool. So yeah, they're, they're, they're over 40 years old then. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, what are they mainly used for, do you know? The sort of... Um, Just air targets, but yeah. could be used for ground targets, I think. Okay, so mainly air, 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 air to air mm-hmm. fights mm-hmm. and that kind of thing. Cool. What do you know about the, the plane, Darius? I don't know much. I'm here to learn. <laughs> Excellent. So, do you know? Uh, so, is, so did the UK have the most of them? Do you know? Oh, hundred percent. Okay. Um, fantastic. And so, the UK would use them to fight against Afghanistan. We used to. Hmm. But um. And they came out of service in nineteen ninety nine. Probably, most likely, it's near that time. If you think of me, then I was only like four years old, then I'd have been looking up at this guy, looking, "Wow, oh, look at their Luftwaffe." No, but well, that's 2019, that. actually, is it, that they retired them. Was it? Oh, yeah. Oh, I would have been a bit older then. Oh. So, uh, yeah, Wait, quite really? a long time. Yeah. What? The UK? Uh, yeah, RAF says retired 2019. So, yeah, long. Whoa. That's a long time ago. That's a long, yeah. Still, like, yeah, was it 30 years? 30, no, tw- no, 40 years in service. No, I was right. 40 years in service. And that's actual mental. Mm. Amazing. Um, I've seen one in real life. Have you? Mm-hmm. Whereabouts? Like you flying over the house? No, or? no, no. no, no. At the Museum of Flight? <laughs> oh. oh, I would have seen it as well then. Me and Harris went there, what, several months ago? Five months ago or something? Um, I know I've seen a lot of planes in the Museum of Flight. I don't, know, don't know if I remember that one. Um, amazing. Well, we will go back to the Museum of Flight. Speaking of Museum of Flight, uh, and uh, uh, sometime this year, uh, we're going to podcast from there, actually uh, looking at the planes and all that. So that's going to be uh, a quite exciting episode coming up. And uh, Harry just shows me. Oh, yes, I remember. It's extremely blurry. It's not actually blurry. He'll probably not, uh, not upload it. Amazing, I'll yeah. The better one. So, uh, yeah, we'll have a look at that again now that I know more about it. Um, so we've got Darius here as our guest today. Uh, Harris, any, th- any kind of questions you have for him? Um, so Darius does a lot of uh, martial arts and fighting. Mm. Um, Wait, see, see Gamebred, right? Do you, do you own the brand or is it just? Yeah, so I made it up. It was a sort of venture that I kind of improvised with and I created in 2020. So mm-hmm. during the lockdown, I was pretty bored and I wanted to do something productive. Um, you like the UFC, yeah? 
Yeah, he, Harris is repping a UFC hat. So you'll know Jorge Masvidal. Yeah. He has the quickest knockout in history, doesn't he? How long is it? 11 seconds, is it? No, five, bro. Was it? I thought it was 11. In five seconds, fly knee, Ben Askren, KO. No, I knew it was a flying knee. Yeah. But I didn't know it was five seconds. I thought it was 11. Five seconds, bro. So I used to watch him like way before he got big in the UFC. He used mm-hmm. to do these backyard fights with Kimbo Slice, where you used to basically get paid to fight in Miami, like in the street. Um, rah. And uh, so I, w- I was always quite a big fan of him. And then I didn't want to just call my thing like DB Fitness. I thought it was pretty boring. So I called it Game Bread because it's like catchy and I like what it stands for. When I used to train, you'd always get like encouraged to be aggressive and forward and relentless and never give in. So game. And if you're bred, you're bred to do it. So I stuck, I went with that name. I like it. It's a unique name. Mm-hmm. That's what I was going for. Thank you. It's all right. And so what do you do then uh, with that? Uh, so it's like a personal training business and so uh, if people want to learn how to box I can do that I can do it technically or I can do it fitness wise I can also do like sports sports specific strength and conditioning so if you're not just if you're a fighter but if you're a footballer um, I've had basketballers I've had had some pro footballers one for Hibs one for the Philippines national team Eric Galantis not for Hibs yeah he played for Hibs and when? he played for the Philippine national team. He still plays for them. Um, so I would do What's like... What's his name? Eric. Like Eric. He was a bit of an Eric, to be honest. Um, <laughs> uh, but uh, So I would do like stuff that's going to elevate his... I'll show you. I would, stuff that's going to elevate his performance uh, and make him a more sort of complete player. Um there you go. Oh, I didn't know. Um, so I'll do stuff to like enhance their power, so they're more explosive, uh, l- decrease their risk of injuries, uh, increase their cardio, so they can sustain higher levels of power for like more prolonged periods of time. Um, and I can also teach people how to box. Mm. Um, yeah. I also like seeing the development of people. You do clothes as well, eh? So I made hoodies and t-shirts to sell just to get, like, the name out there more. Mm. And it's got, like, the slogan on it, uh, which is... I forgot the slogan. (laughs) It's not like... That's a really memorable slogan. (laughs) You can edit this, eh? (laughs) Nah, mate, we're not editing this. this You're definitely not editing this one. (laughs) I think, I've, I think I've looked at it that much that it's just <laughs> <laughs> well, well it's not like on. something something bread uh, to fight bread um, pause <laughs> <laughs> pause wow well, forgetting your own slogan that's terrible so the ability to fight pain and fatigue and bread to do it there we go that's what game bread means that's uh, wow. very, very snazzy. For remembering. Why Fantastic. were you clapping for yourself? <laughs> that was too long. <laughs> um, right, excellent. Um, Let's did you more planes now. Because yeah, we'll go back to the planes. We'll get a bit off topic. We'll go a bit off topic, but that's what we, because we've got a f- um, guest, guest, obviously. We, we, we respect And the our sponsor guests. of this podcast is Gamebred. Yes. By Darius. <laughs> you know one of my clients. What's your second name? What's your second? Black. Darius Black. You know one of the clients. Who? Uh, Logan. So I trained. Jensen. Yeah. So I I worked on his boxing, so he'd be more complete as well. I know you like Muay Thai. Bash. Ah. Um. Yeah. So going on <laughs> back to the aviation um wow. element of the podcast. Um. How as you mentioned, you wanted to talk about World War Two airplanes. Mm. In particular, which ones do you do you like best? The first, you know, the first ever jet plane ever was actually German. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. It was the Messerschmitt 262. Okay. It's actually really cool. Amazing. It's on the, on the belly of the plane. It's grey. 
Okay. And on the top, the fl- fuselage and stuff, it's actual, it's got green dots all over it. And do you want to know why? Uh, yes, please. Because in World War Two, at the start, they didn't, they didn't have much hangars. Because they, they were getting bombed. Okay. So, they'd make, they would have four poles, metal poles coming out. And then, like, make a box. Like, without walls or a roof. And they'd just put camouflage stuff over it. Oh, and then they parked the plane mm-hmm. under that kind of thing. Uh, so the plane was camouflage, even if it was landed on the floor. Amazing. Well, How pretty, do you think that we could get a plane, right? Even mm-hmm. if this is the wee one, but nevertheless, a plane, and put a game bread slogan and sign on it? If you pay for it. <laughs> well, like an actual <laughs> aeroplane. Oh, yeah, like do, you think that, do you think that's a possible Yeah, avenue? 100%. Okay, how are we going to do that? Or do I just have to put loads of hours in and save up for a plane? I can help, but I'm saving up for a car show that I'm going to, so... You could <laughs> you could get a... Uh, you know, planes do the... You know, the kind of a written thing... The banner. The banner. Yeah, you, so could, you, you could get it over, to fly. fly... Over the hip stadium, or whatever. <laughs> That'd be cool as... <laughs> With a picture of Eric's face on it. Exactly. Yeah. Are you sure he still plays? Because I've never seen him before. Hmm? And I was at a Hibs game on Saturday. No, he plays. He still plays for the Philippines. When did he play for the Hibs? Uh, I, well, definitely prior to 2020. Oh, um, I didn't go to Hibs that. games. So uh, anyway, yeah. So that's an amazing plane. Um, mm. Any other planes you like? Well, what's your favourite uh, British plane from World War Two? Ooh, from World War Two. Yeah. Has to be the Lancaster. Lancaster, yeah, it's a pretty mm. it's love like, a Lancaster. It's iconic, isn't it? Do you? It? Yeah. Do How you many gunners does it have? Like seven. Three. Well, just over double. Only has three. Yeah. What's the... What did the US have? Bom- bomber Bom- Bombers. Um, <coughs> B-29s and stuff. Oh, That's yeah, what yeah. went over... Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Oh. Ouch. Look at that. We could talk about 9-11. No, no! <laughs> right. That was off the back of our colleague Stephen McKnight. Right. Right. You're bad. <laughs> <laughs> Can I you ask you a question? Yeah. See if you had to, if you were in like quite an elite team and you had you. Of what? Like a fight entourage. Uh huh. So say you were in the UFC and you were either a coach or an athlete or one of the part of the team, and say you had a fight in Vegas. Mhm. What would be your plane of choice to fly over in? What from here? Yeah, if your training cap was in heavy sound. I forgot to pick anywhere, any plane. Any plane, any plane. I'd want make to get a plane sailing though. And a Eurofighter Typhoon. Oh, oh, spicy! How long can they fly over? I mean, they must be able to fly over the Atlantic. <laughs> Easy peasy. I'd get there in about three hours. <laughs> to Vegas. Aye. Really? Uh, no, I'm just joking. Oh. Pulling your leg, mate. Obviously, no. Does well, it not take like a 12 hour flight or something just to get to anywhere in America? <coughs> nah. Well, not with a. Seven hours to New York. Nah. Yeah, that's how long it took me. Nah. I'm just joking. Seven hours to New York. How long did the Concorde? I think they. Concorde, Concorde did took two and a half hours. To New York? Yep. From here? Mm hmm. Ra? From London Heathrow. Two and a half Yeah, sure. I think. No, yep. A bit more, maybe four no, hours. I would have no. said for Two and a half. Wow. That's from there and back. Four hours is there and back. Wow. Four hours there and back? Probably. About that, yeah. You realise that Concord went 1,380 kilometres an hour? 1,380. So about a th- it just went, under 1,000 miles like an hour. It went like Mach 2, mate. Return of the Mach. That's double the speed of light. Sound. Not the sound, sound, sound. <laughs> That's speed, <gasps> speed of light would be amazing. You know, the Britain speed of heavy has developed <coughs> a laser... That shoots at the speed of light. Who has? Mr. Velvet? 
us. Grand no, us, us. Britannia. Britannia rules the waves. You know, that's a folk one song. <laughs> yeah, they sing about the folk ones and that. Well, yeah. Oh, I told you last time, didn't it? My, my, mm. my partner, she was in the Falklands for a while. By her parents. Mm-hmm. Now you've got that song stuck in my head. Yeah. Um, anyway, um, I think we're out of time, guys. For oh, really? This, for, yeah. Um, but um, we will return. Did, can I ask one more question? Uh-huh. Did you see the video of Mike Tyson getting annoyed with someone on a plane? And he just turned around and he's like, gotta kick a mother ass. Gonna kick his ass. Yeah. Kick there, man. Did you see the video? No, but he, he sounds like that, eh? You kick his ass. <laughs> yeah, it's Mike Tyson, man. It's Mike Tyson. If hey, you Mike want, Tyson. man, I got contacts in America, man. I can get Mike Tyson for you in your next podcast. No, you can't. I could. No, you couldn't. I've actually got contacts in the Bronx, New York. No, you don't. I do. Promise. <laughs> no, I swear don't. down on my mum's life, I do. <laughs> you does. could not get Mike Tyson to fly down here. No, I couldn't get Mike Tyson. See, exactly, but exactly. I could, I could FaceTime somebody in from the Bronx. True story. Pro boxers. Who's that? Uh, a guy called Lou. A guy called Eli. Don't know who they are. Jiggy so. Theo. Fly Phil. Freddy. Do you know what? Person upstairs that said that they'd be to get me the tour of the base, the RAF base. Linda. Linda. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't know her name. Um, Linda Bendel. See, instead of a, like a tour, do you think the person, Stuart, do you think I could interview him? Yeah, that'd be a good idea, yeah. That'd be very good. Stuart, we're coming for you, bro. Stuart, Roxy Roxburn. Cool. We yeah. need you on our podcast, mate. Come on, brother. I want to know what it was like to fly the last Nimrod, mate. Oh, uh, yeah, that, you can ask him that question. Amazing. Anyway, guys, out of time. Thanks, Darius, for joining us. Um, it's been a pleasure. Uh, really useful information uh, about your slogan. Uh, it'll stay with us forever. Um, and uh, we'll see you next week or I next we time. cut out the swearing, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> we'll cut that out. <laughs> right. See you next week. Bye. Peace, cut. I like doing podcasts. That was funny.